loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, so guys, we're just going to do a super quick, quick, quick intro. Um, if you guys are interested in crystals to help clear the chakras, anxiety, depression, you could visit Kim K Crystals. Um, the link for her website is below, and she also does Facebook Lives a couple times a week, which are really awesome. All that info is below. Recommended readers are also below. Um, we're going to be starting the uh, giveaways again, okay? So um, I had to stop that for a couple months, but we're going to be starting up again. So the winners will be announced at the beginning of the month, okay? So be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, in the description box below, you're going to see a list of everything that I give away every month. And all you have to do is go to the comment section and hashtag what you would like to win, okay? Um, and winners will be announced uh, at the beginning of every month. Um what else do I want to tell you guys? Um, for uh, live readings with me or video readings with me, so I will be going on live and doing uh, live question readings um, at least a few times a week, uh, or you can book a reading with me through my website, which is listed below, okay? Um, and last but not least, guys, when leaving a comment, um, if you have something negative that you would like to say about the reading, you are more than welcome to drop a comment. Um, just please be aware that as a reader, it doesn't really affect me because, you know, I clear my energy and ground all day long. Um, but there are plenty of people that this reading will resonate with, so please try to not disregard or disrespect the people that are hurting um you know we are a family here and we try to be kind to one another so if the reading doesn't resonate with you um you know try to be understanding for the people that it does resonate with uh last but not well i already said last but not least <laughs> um Guys, these uh, readings could be energy in or around you. So this could be something you're going through, something your person's going through, um, or it could be, you know, something that a close friend or family member is going through. Um, this could also be, uh, you know, it is intended to be love, but this could also be for a friend or family member, okay? It could be, you know, anybody that you care about, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with your reading, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, my beautiful loves, let's see what we have here today for my Cancer Babies. So guys, a very good friend of mine, Tarita, just opened up her um, new tarot channel. It's called That's So Tarot. Um, the link for her tarot channel is in the description box below under recommended readers. Um, if everyone could please, you know, drop a, a subscribe, drop a like. It would be so appreciated to welcome her, you know, to the community, okay? Let's go ahead and get started here and let's see what we have for cancer today. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance guidance, love messages for my beautiful cancers. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful cancers. Today we're going to do a you versus them. <coughs> Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful cancers. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Five of Pentacles. We have the Lover's Card, Gemini Energy. We have the Three of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Two of Cups in the reverse. Oh, no. Five of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Oh, Lord. Okay, under the deck, we have the Death card, Scorpionic Energy. So, Cancer, this could be your side, your person's side. Take it as it resonates, okay? So, Cancer, with the Five of Pentacles and the Lover's card, I feel like someone here has been left out in the cold. With the Lover's card, this could have been a representation where someone here made a decision where they chose somebody over the other person, okay? Three of Wands in the reverse and the Two of Cups in the reverse, I feel here like somebody stopped seeking someone out. They don't want a relationship. They stopped seeing a future with this person. It's like, I just, I don't want you anymore type of energy. With the Five of Cups and the Nine of Cups, I feel like there's a sense of regret or remorse here because with the Nine of Cups, I feel like someone was happy. Now maybe, the, so Cancer, I don't know if this person made the mistake and chose someone else over you and now they're realizing, 
you know, that they made a mistake because they're realizing where their true happiness lied. Or Cancer, I don't know if this is somebody that you're cutting out to choose someone else. With the death card here, there's definitely something that ended and something new that began, okay, Scorpionic energy. So again, you know, Cancer, I don't know if you, you know, cut this person out and went off with someone new or if this person cut you off and went off with someone new and now they're regretting it. Okay, let's see what we have here. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity, Guidance, and Love Messages for my beautiful Cancers, please. My hair's getting stuck. For my beautiful Cancers, please. What messages do we have here for Cancer, please? Tell me about this Five of Pentacles for Cancer. Three of Swords. Yep. Someone here left somebody for a third party, okay? So Cancer, that could be you. That could be your person. Tell me about this lover's card here for Cancer. The Eight of Swords. Someone here perhaps met a third party that they just couldn't, like let's just say you're in a relationship, the Two of Cups in the upright and the Five of Pentacles, which I find interesting because we've got the Two of Cups in the reverse here and the Five of Pentacles up here. So Cancer, I feel like someone here was in a strong, committed relationship, a lot of love, strong soul tie, and there's a third party energy that came along that got in someone's head or that someone couldn't get out of their head. Like, I just can't get this other person out of my mind. Someone here may be in prison. We could be dealing with someone in prison here, but it's clear as day that someone abandoned a relationship. Tell me about the three of wands in the reverse three of cups in the reverse and I feel like someone never came back around to say that they're sorry never came back around to um apologize with the eight of wands and the ace of cups and the three of pentacles someone here really was going strong towards this new love thinking that it would work out and everything would be okay tell me about the two of cups in the reverse and the seven of cups um yeah someone here i feel was under the illusion that i'm going to leave this relationship and the grass is greener on the other side yeah see someone here was completely obsessively you know, someone here maybe fell into lust and not love. Somebody here was just in this for all the wrong reasons. It could have been passion, lust, it could be anything. But someone here was going towards a third party for all the wrong reasons. And now with the Five of Cups here, they're regretting it. Because we got the Five of Cups down here too. They're regretting it. Okay, they 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 cut someone here cut off a connection, um, you know, under the illusion or the impression that that third party situation was going to be better. Tell me about the Nine of Cups and the Six of Cups. The X is where the emotional fulfillment lied. Someone here is realizing that they were happier with the past person. Tell me about the Five of Cups here for Cancer. We've got the King of Swords in the reverse. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Someone here regrets being mean. They regret being nasty. They regret being abusive. They regret not seeing the truth. They regret cutting somebody off and cutting somebody out. Somebody here is regretting this behavior, which is also an indication that not only did someone here leave a relationship, but they were nasty about it too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they sabotaged the connection. They were abusive. They didn't just leave the connection in a very peaceful way. Um, they were they were ugly about it. They were ugly about it. And now they're really regretting it. Okay, so let's see what we have happening on this side. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful cancers. Tell me... Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer, please. Oh, goodness. We've got the Ten of Cups. And we have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. We've got the Star card and the Six of Swords, Aquarian Energy. We've got the Four of Pentacles and the Three of Cups under the deck. Cancer. Yeah, and we've got the Page of pentacles here capricorn taurus virgo energy the empress and the world card with the ace of pentacles uh-oh 
So, Cancer, what we have here is a situation where I feel like the person on this side that was left behind found themselves something new. Something with a tremendous amount of emotional fulfillment, stability. Someone here may even be getting married. With the Six of Swords energy, the person that was getting hurt walked away from this nasty, horrible energy that this King of Swords in the reverse was get putting forth and healed and moved forward. And now with the Four of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, this person has no interest in reconciling whatsoever. I see an apology coming in. I see this Empress with the World card closing it out. I feel like someone here is going to be like, sorry, too late. I'm already in a relationship with someone who puts me on a pedestal. This new person will put you on a pedestal. And with the Ace of Pentacles here, um, I feel like someone here has, you know, started something new. They got an offer of something very um, stable, very committed, very loving, uh, beautiful soul tie energy. Yep, see, Ten of Cups with the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, pre-empress energy, six of swords on top of the hierophant. Cancer, someone here said, you have hurt me for the last time. I'm pre-empress energy. I'm fine on my own. I don't need you for nothing. And I'm moving on towards something better. So someone here upgraded hardcore. Tell me about the six of swords here and the seven of pentacles. Tell me about the star card here for cancer. Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant again, Taurus energy, Aquarian energy. Tell me about the Three of Cups for Cancer, the Emperor Aries Taurus energy, and tell me about the Four of Pentacles with the King of Wands, Leo Sag Aries energy. Under the deck, we've got the Ace of Swords, we've got the Fool card, Aries energy, and we've got the Four of Cups. The Hanged Man, Piscean Energy, and the Five of Swords. So Cancer, what's happening here now is somebody is wanting to come in. They're wanting to reconcile. They're coming in with a very confident and persistent energy. Um, but this person here is not giving into it, okay? Because what we have here is someone that realizes that they took a... <coughs> someone here is realizing that they took a risk and lost out big time with that four of cups and now with the hanged man it's hitting them they're realizing it and with the five of swords it was an empty victory someone here again with this five of swords energy and the king of swords in the reverse this is like that energy of someone who leaves with a very cocky and ugly attitude. Yeah, well, you know, he does this better than you or she does this better than you or, you know, I don't need you. Look at what I got. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like very ugly energy of leaving a connection and moving towards somebody else. And now they're realizing that they effed up. They effed up bad. They effed up bad. With the star card, the six of pentacles, and the hierophant, this is somebody meeting somebody new, and this new person gives the love and loyalty and tradition, you know, that, that safety and that security that this person here never did. And now this, this person here is screwed. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers, please. Clarity guidance love messages for my cancers tell me about the challenge here the challenge here for cancer please the challenge here for cancer so we've got the devil in the reverse capricorn energy the seven of cups and the two of wands Cancer, what you have here with the Tower, the Eight of Wands, and Temperance, Sagittarian Energy, you're going to have a shit ton of communication coming in out of nowhere. This person is going to come out of nowhere, start chasing because they want forgiveness. With the Eight of Pentacles, they want to work things out. And with the Hanged Man here, it's been a minute, and that's why you're going to be like, holy crap, what's wrong with you? Um, I feel like with the Seven of Cups and the Devil in the Reverse and the Two of Wands, the challenge here is Cancer is that somebody here is saying, I don't want those other options. I choose you. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm releasing all my other options because I want you and only you. Problem is, it might be too late, okay? Tell me about the outcome here for cancer. Tell me about the outcome here for cancer and this person. The outcome 
here for Cancer and this person, yeah. So Cancer, uh, we've got a tremendous amount of communication here. We've got a lot happening here with the Four of Cups in the reverse. So this person, I feel, missed their opportunity. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, they should have never doubted or they should have never juggled you, okay? Um, I feel like this person is realizing that they've missed their opportunity with you, okay? So let's go ahead and take it into the extended. Let's see what's going to happen between you and this past person. For those of you who decide to reconcile with this person or what's going to happen between you and this past person. And then we're going to look into this new love that looks insane. Okay. And we'll pull some Oracle for clarity and guidance. Okay. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. Um, I love you guys so very much and I will see you soon. Bye my loves.